thing, of course, is happy birthday. 2020 and 22 is uh, quite an emblematic date uh, and it's a wonderful venue. I also want to say that I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky because I'm one of the 17 million heat pumps owners. Um, but that's probably not why you invited me. Um, what, uh, what I'd like to do today is to share a couple of thoughts uh, with you on the role that heat pumps can play and how we can fast track uh, together uh, the energy transition. Um, as I said, there is 17 million heat pumps currently installed and there's something like 120 to 150 million buildings in the EU. And uh, we also have a renovation wave which uh, sets very ambitious targets for renovation. Um, and uh, there is different policies come together and we'll come back to that integration aspect later. Um, you already mentioned uh, Mrs. van der Leyen's State of the Union speech, uh, speech where energy took absolute center stage given the situation that we're in. And uh, the, it's clear that your industry has a pivotal role to play. And I'm sure in the discussions that you will have later, you will also see the different aspects. I, uh, uh, I would like to, um, to, to talk about uh, uh, the, 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 the Green Deal, uh, the increased need to change our energy system following uh, Russia's, uh, uh, Russia's aggression uh, to Ukraine and to really leverage the single market because the energy dependency, not a single country will be able to deal with that on their own. What we need is a single market uh, that's a single market that where there is solidarity and where no country is left behind. You will have seen a number of communications and actions from the Commission to translate that need to act together at European level. Uh, the Repower EU communication, the Safe Gas for the Winter communication uh, in September, uh, and uh, heat pump pumps do play uh, center stage here. Um, I already mentioned uh, the, the, the different numbers uh, and you also mentioned 30 million newly installed heat pumps in 2030. Um, this could save up to 35 uh, BCM of gas. Uh, we're currently importing, oh, before the war we imported 150 BCM. So it's a very substantial and meaningful contribution. There are two challenges I see, very, very simply speaking. One is production and the other is installation. Um, and uh, the, uh, what is good is that uh, most of the heat pumps sold in Europe are still produced in Europe and we would like to keep it that way. And we want to understand from you also how we can contribute with our tools, with the single market tools to help you. Uh, 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 we do not want this increased demand that we are creating through EU policies to go to uh, suppliers outside the EU. And uh, what I feel is important here is five trigger points uh, to make this happen and to, to, uh, to make uh, all of us thrive based on your technological solutions. Uh, and I'd like to walk through them. There are innovation, competitiveness, skills, our regulatory framework and financing. Now, when I look at the first part, uh, uh, the innovation. Um, first of all, the heat pump, the European heat pump industry is one of the most innovative in the world and we can all be very proud of what you've achieved. The EU share of high value patents accounts for most 50% of world total in the period 2016 and 18 and remains strong and is growing with five out of top 10 innovators headquartered in the EU. That's very good news. And I do want to make a bracket here because what will come on stream is the unitary patent, uh, which will allow you to have a one-stop shop to get the patent and a one-stop shop, if you have to, defend your patent uh, with a new jurisdiction. That will come on stream uh, later this year. And, you know, it took 50 years to negotiate it. Sometimes it takes time in Europe, but here we are. And, uh, you know, I would really uh, encourage you to look into the opportunities in terms of cost uh, for obtaining it, but also in cost, in terms of cost for, for uh, preventing it, uh, for defending it. Um, 
There is a need to further innovate in and reduce costs and achieve economies of scale. And um, a specific area of innovation is to make heat pumps cost effective even in less well insulated buildings. We should also look at increasing heating capacity suited for industrial, multifamily buildings and district heating applications. Other important areas of innovation that we see is the hybrid systems integration with other systems such as ventilation, hot water, air conditioning, storage and solar system. In fact, what consumers want, whether they're industrial or, you know, like me, a homeowner, is 24-hour solutions with these new decarbonized possibilities. My second trigger point is competitiveness. Uh, because competitiveness is also about non-price factors, quality of products, services offered, and in line with market trends. And these may relate, for example, to improving the environmental dimension, the sustainability and durability aspects of heat pumps, for example, via energy labeling and eco-design. Above all, there is also the F question, the fluorinated gases for refrigerants such as ammonia, water, methanol, carbon dioxide, or propane, that can represent for the European heat companies, uh, companies uh, an opportunity uh, also for industrial growth. Um, in a nutshell, together we need to uh, strengthen the competitive edge, deliver high quality yet affordable heat pumps, technologies and components. My third focus is on skills. And you will have seen that in the State of the Union speech, the President, she also called for a year of skills in 2023 because we see it across all industrial ecosystems. The skills for production and for installations, they become a real issue. The lack of workers with adequate background, be it technical, scientific, engineering, is a potential critical bottleneck also for your industry and it could affect all member states. Skilled planners, architects, engineers, and qualified heating and cooling installers are needed to provide information on solutions, carry out the installation effectively, and ensure optimal operation thereafter. Um, the barrier is common across heating and cooling technologies, but we feel it's getting more acute in heat pumps, and I'd be interested how you see that from your end. The Pact for Skills may act as a stimulating policy framework, which could help address industry's still needs, particularly under the proposed creation of a pact for skills for onshore renewable energy protection. What is a pact for skills? Uh, I mean, there's no way that the public can anticipate the needs, the future needs on for skills. We think it's really for the workers and the industry to come together and make a plan, see how investment could be handled. And, and on the basis of that plan, also public investment can come in, but it's really for the industry to, to identify, you know, not yesterday's needs or today's needs, but also the future needs to orientate uh, uh, the skilling of workers. And it's not only a, an issue we can solve with the school and the school curricula, it needs a kind of lifelong experience. So I, uh, I would recommend uh, also for your industry to be part of that discussion for a pact for skills, which would uh, for you for your renewable energy production which was also cover solar wind geothermal biomass and heat pumps fourth trigger point is the regulatory framework and access to finance um, and uh, the eu policies are very strongly supportive of european heat pumps and manufacturing um, and the commission also plans to revise in the first quarter of 2023 the energy labeling requirements, uh, uh, including for heat pumps. Um, and then there's, of course, a wide range of EU policy measures that encourage access to finance. Uh, uh, the, uh, the IPSES, the European Innovation Fund, a dedicated overall repower EU envelope of 20 billion, recovery and resilience facility, invest EU and structural funds. And I totally give it to you to find your way in that is very complicated. Um, if I compare with the, uh, the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act that the US have just published, you know, it's business case per business case, here's the money. And that sounds very attractive. Uh, if 
I'm trying at the moment, I'm trying I'm to, I'm working also with a number of industry uh, databases together to try to map what we are doing in the EU in the same way. Because in fact, we are supporting your business case. Uh, sometimes it feels, you know, all these acronyms, uh, how do I find my way through it? And I take it for myself, we have to make a better job of, uh, of signaling to it. Uh, what I also believe, and you mentioned I come from finance, my previous job, it's the signaling for private investment as well. We need to think in terms of risk of future projects. And there's a risk tranche that the market will take, so no way the public should work, walk into it. But there are risk tranches, in particular on market risk for highly innovative products, where I would see you, where it's, um, uh, the, 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 the market doesn't take the risk. And that's where we can leverage the de-risking facilities of the European budget. But that way we have to bring better together. And we also have to bring member states' budgets into this. So these were my trigger points. Uh, and I think, uh, I hope there will be some discussion and some solutions and, and ideas coming from your different panels. There is no single wand. We're not in the Harry Potter land. Heat pumps are part of the solution, but so are deployment of renewable energy, uh, permitting, grid adaptation, electricity, interconnectors, uh, um, a low carbon base load, that's all our work on hydrogen, uh, and of course skills, and I, I really want to underline that. I'm leaving from here to Lisbon, where the EIT Inno Energy has having their business uh, cluster meeting, um, where a lot of these different strands and these different solutions will come together. But I'm, I'm really convinced that it's only by bringing it together that we will all together succeed. And in that sense, your idea about the accelerator, we 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 support it, and we we want to be part and and, and help in you know making the best thing the best way to connect the dots thank you very much